There to back him up, take the puck and skate up the right wing side. Got around his man, he's got a one on one. Makar is into the right circle, Dangles into the slot, backhander! And that one snagged by Bontorin. And up the right wing side, Dalen March, he speeds past the defense, into the partial breakaway. Backhander stopped by Josh Davies as he kicks out the right this hockey game. They do in the D zone draw and fling one up the middle. Will Conley is going to speed by the defense into the left circle, had it poke free, but recollects left half boards, tried to send it to Lodermeyer, but it was out of his reach. And here come the Eagles the other way. Bandits at least got a defenseman change on that last rush. But now it's Tanaka wide open, top left circle, fires and scores! And Canmore opens the scoring. The Bandits, a tired line out there, try to get something going in the offensive zone and just turn it over. Got a top left circle, Lodermeyer back to Bear. He'll skate right side, fake a shot, give it to McCarr. One-timer, off the crossbar! Rebound scrambled for, and it was knife wide by Josh McKechnie. Oh, so close yet so far. It's lying underneath the maze of sticks, and Pereira's got it, cutting to the end board. Centered one, and it went through the skates of Nick Perkusic. His pass up the right wing is flung off a bandit stick and rolls free to Ferguson, speeding into the right corner, cuts in front of the bandit net, backhander right on Josh Davies. Spun down the right dasher. And the Eagles keep possession here. Paul's in the right corner, has it, cutting right side. Backhander right on, rebound, Tisdale scores! And the Bandits leave Adam Tisdale wide open, right in front of the Bandit net. He has a whole net to shoot at. Trying to cut out in front, jamming at its side of the net. That deflects off the net and came near side to Prevost, and the whistle goes. A Bandit and Bear got dumped well away from the puck. No penalty on that, and the net was bumped off, which is what drew the whistle. And now four players are tied up at the side of the Canmore net. Radford and Falanga are still jousting, and the Linesman has to come in to try to separate the two of them. At minute 48 to go in this second period. Falang and Radford still going. Now Ursulak's going to drop the gloves and get into a fight with Dalen Marchi. One, two right hands by Ursulak, who took a right of his own. Then a right uppercut by Ursulak and another right hook. Marchi got his helmet knocked off, though, and scored with the right hand. Now Ursulak's got his jersey up over his head, but gets it back down and scores with another two right hands. And he takes a couple of two big ones from Marchi in an overhand right. Ursulak's got his jersey almost completely off as they're continuing the battle here. Linesman are supposed to get in once a helmet comes off, but they're not. Now the two rights by Marchi. Ursulak trying to battle back, but his arms are tied up, and finally the Lions will get in between the two of them and do their job to separate the two of them after one heck of a tilt here, the longest of the season so far, between the sophomore and Ursulak, and Dale it out, does battle it out to the red line Pereira digs it free, skating one on two Cuts right side at neutral, got around his man, carrying into the right circle, Pereira fires, saved by Bontorin! Able to take it on the drop off with the left tap forwards, then got tripped up Still the Eagles recollect, high slot, Olsen's wide open, firing one right on, rebound, Olsen shoots, what a stop by Davies, and then a second stop on Forchak, then another try by Olsen on a sharp angle, saved and held by Josh Davies for a whistle stopping play. Like oh, you say, Tyler, lots of time left here in this hockey game, they just got to break the seal and uh, maybe the tide will change. Face off, one by the Bandits, left point to Shane Bear. Bear holds on, put it mid blue line, to go one-timer, tip Charlie Marshall! <laughs> Charlie Marchand in front of the net as his first <laughs> career Junior A goal, and he leaps into the air. The monkey's off his back for good. The beard is gone, and he's got the bandits on the board. Two to one with 11:49 to go in the third period. What a tip by number three in front of the net. And you're and if you're gonna if you're gonna get one, uh, you want it to be a big one and. Uh, Marshawn Ferguson does that. the other way for Canmore, up the right wing and over the Brooks line. Down to the right circle, he's wide open, fires! Off of Davies, bounces back out in front, lying in the crease, Aiello cleared it out of the blue paint, and all the way down. So, Marshawn overskated it on his pinch in, and the Eagles will bank it high off the near boards and bouncing down to the banded zone icing, yes indeed. As it wasn't uh, close enough to Nacktable, well, the Eagles are going to protest here, but it's absolutely the right call. I wonder if uh, the Eagles will use their time out here. Wouldn't be Pretty, a bad idea. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Pretty pivotal time. Right, but uh, the linesman, Why are they talking to the Canmore bench here? It's supposed to be a hurried up faceoff. This is exactly what Canmore wanted. So they get the extra few seconds of rest because the officials bite. Here's a win by the Bandits, curling it to the high slot. Pereira shot off a stick, scrambled for in front of the net, came over the goal line. Bandits have tied the game. Cockrell got to it on the scramble in front of the Canmore net. The Eagles did not take their timeout. It comes back to bite them, and we got a 2-2 score here in Canmore. <laughs> Uh, and you know, uh, what a design play is. You talk about adjustments during a hockey game. The Bandits win the draw back, and O'Connor, instead of going towards the net, takes two steps in, and uh, Jesse Pereira circles in behind him, carries it in through, and is able to pull those defenders out and get that shot through. It bounces around, and I'm not sure. I think Jared Cockrell got to it, put her in the open net. He's so. the first guy to the bench. That's usually the one. Yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. 
Still the puck is not moving, but the referee will not blow it dead. Six-player battle, and an elbow of Cockrell came up. Bandits have the puck. Mid-blue line, Marchand shoots, and it's tipped just wide left. And we're going to overtime here in Canmore. But a penalty here. It looks like it will be called against the Bandits. Collect behind their own net. Here comes Brett Schimmel, the Brooks native. Put it right wing side, and Lane Olsen speeds into the Bandits zone, right wing side, and down to the corner. Olsen centers, Prevost wide open, shoots, scores! Canmore wins 3-2 to two the final.